Hello, good evening. I'm Claire Ice Brandy and welcome to the election 2010. It's just gone midnight and the excitement... I'm joined now by Becky Lewis, um, a media lecturer here at the University of Winchester. I mean, I've um, never known what my friends were voting for before and now people are actually tweeting it, they're putting it on their Facebook status. Some people are still being very coy. For now, let's join our reporters on the field who are following the parties as the results come in. I can bring you the second and third results of the night, and it's another two seats for Labour. They've held Washington and, and Sunderland West. Sharon Hodgson won 19,000. Well, the Liberal Democrats are not doing as well as expected, which is excellent news for the Conservatives. Clegg effect not living up to expectations or the early effect. The Liberal Democrats have refused to accept the accuracy of the exit polls. Lib Dem Treasury spokesman Vince Cable has told the BBC that the exit poll is very strange. But they do expect to do better than they have done in the recent years. Now, they have failed to perform in Washington and Sunderland West, again losing out to Labour. Um, we now go live to our newsroom, the hub of activity, uh, to join Tom Obtresky. Tom, what's new? And generally people being turned away. Uh, we've heard a story from someone in York who has claimed that postal votes have gone missing because of a combination between a post office being shut and a printing error. So there's massive, massive problems. This has got the potential to really disrupt this election. Uh, we're now, now receiving some pictures from Whitney, David Cameron's camp. We can see here somebody who appears to be Whitney's local Green Party candidate. And he's just discussing how the evening is going for him. I understand that Stu Appleby, who's at the count in Winchester, has made contact with Martin Todd, uh, the Liberal Democrat candidate for Winchester. Uh, Lucy, can we talk to Martin Todd? Thank you. Um, yes, we've got Liberal Democrat parliamentary candidate Martin Todd beside me here. Um, the camp's just resumed after a quick interval, and Martin's next to me here. So, Martin, what have you made of experience so far? Well, I think it looks like it's going to be extremely close, as far as we can tell. You know, it's been a very hard-fought race all the way through. Um, there's been a lot of interest in it. It's been, a, I think it'll be a high turnout. Um, but in terms of what that high turnout will bring and what the result will be, well, I don't think we know yet. I broadcast now from Andover, I believe. Uh, Lucy. Well, here in Andover, the vote count for North West Hampshire is about to begin shortly. Behind me, uh, ballots are pouring out onto the tables, currently being validated. Once they're all validated, the vote count will begin, at which point we'll be asked to leave the hall. Now, this has always been a very strong seat for the Conservatives. Um, it seems to be running smoothly. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, comments from a few activists. Um, namely, that, uh, most of them thought the, uh, the, whole process w the whole process was going quite well, um, apart from a couple of uh, discrepancies with the police about public taking photographs. A few of them didn't understand uh, quite how stringent the rules were, um, as well as... Uh, one thing that uh, occurred, which was a queue outside the door at 10 o'clock in the polling station, um, and ending up getting turned away from voting, despite the fact that they were queuing, simply because there were so many people uh, voting. Um, we've actually been discussing about the EU, which is the big elephant in the room during the discussion here. Um, and we've been wondering... If Jason, do you think that um, the so-called bigot gate scandal uh, actually did have an effect on the voting public and they did take that into account when visiting their polling station today? For Gordon Brown to then call one of his own supporters a bigot seems to sort of strike at the heart of the Labour support. Um, that kind of comment could maybe have become kind of yesterday's news, apart from the fact that we put it on things like YouTube and then you can watch just that one segment and then you can put it on...